Hey. How about tonight, I can't. I'm broke. Have you not seen gas prices? 6.45. You've got to be. I just ran out of gas. Sorry, sorry. So my name is Dr. Sidney Huffman. Uh, I've been working with the Green Institute for the last 10 years. I'm a lobbyist for them. Uh, as you are aware, the Green Institute is one of the main um, lobbying institutions for renewable energy. Sometimes we have to come to a precipice of where we're either going to allow it to destroy us or we're going to rise up and change what's going wrong and head into a new direction. And we are at that precipice. We are either going to change our economy, change the way we do things, change how we consume energy, change um, our viewpoint on life and consuming, uh, or we're just going to allow it to snowball out of control and allow everything to crash. My name is Marie Rachel Lubin, but uh, my friends and family just call me Marie. <laughs> um, I am uh, from Porta Prince, Haiti, uh, in, in uh, West Indies. The islands uh, of the West Indies, we share the island of Hispaniola with the uh, uh, Dominican Republic. I lived there most of my life until um, until the uh, earthquake of 2011, at what time I come here and try to rebuild my life. People can't afford to put the gas in the cars, they can't afford to go to work, they can't afford to pay the bills, they can't afford to live. So, I mean, you, you tell me, what, what are we supposed to do? Huh? The, the, uh, what, what, how are you supposed to live your life, you know? So, uh, perhaps, he, you know, this will force people to, how they say, live green, live uh, recycling and uh, more, be more responsible for the, uh, the environment. Like no other. Flawless. Absolutely. All right. Um, I live in West Hollywood, and um, the gas prices have affected me because I can't really afford to like travel as much as I used to. Um, it's like six dollars and seventy-five cents, and I drive a Prius. The gas prices are so expensive; it costs like a hundred dollars, like just a week for me to fill up my gas tank, and you know, it's it's really been tough. I really miss um, having the opportunity to go and spend time and not worry about, you know, how much gas I have in my car and like, you know, how far we have to go. And who do I think is responsible? Mormons. Yeah. Um, they, since Prop, you know, um, 11 went through, um, is the Prop 11 or the 8? You know, with the rise of the gas prices, there have been more incidents of crime and vandalism vandalism and um, you know in the neighborhood children children have lost their their tricycles bicycles because people don't want to put gas in the car so they go off they take the bicycle they still still right off the property because the people are looking for other ways of transportation you can't you can't even take the bus because the bus needs gasoline 
crime in my neighborhood increased. I mean, um, people were siphoning gas out of my tank. I mean, I came out one morning and this guy was like sucking out of my tank and I was like, what are you doing? Like, suck me, not my gas. <laughs> <laughs> when people get desperate, oh. mm -hmm. when people get desperate, they do, they do what they need to do. Uh, we could be heading into a depression unlike anything we've ever seen. The uh, depression of uh, the 30s will pale in comparison, um, which means that uh, if we don't have a way to respond to it, people will be starving. Uh, we'll see um, the spread of disease throughout the country because we'll be uh, unable to get to folks who are sick or ill uh, necessary medications in order to deal with it. Um, that in and of itself will be um, an Armageddon of sorts.